Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna share with you my top 10 Amazon organizer finds that are great for small homes and for minimalism. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. I post a lot of videos that include mom hacks, organizing and decluttering, vlogs. So yeah, if that sounds good to you, subscribe at the notification bell so you're always notified when I put out a new video. If you've been following along on my channel for a while, you know that I I'm currently doing a series called Let's Get Minimal where I'm going through every single space in my home and minimizing as much as I can. This has been an awesome journey for me. I'm just starting to feel less clutter physically and mentally. And I know a lot of you have been on this journey with me, so that's been really awesome to read your comments and talk about it. But along the way, I've had to purchase some different like types of products and organizers to just assist with keeping things maintained. I really try to not buy too many. Organizers can start to get really expensive. So I use typically what I like any baskets that I've thrifted or I already have in the house. So these are really just the 10 things that I felt like I needed and was willing to spend my money on. But I've had most of these for like six months or more. So I can attest to the fact that they are good quality. They've lasted and I actually do like them. I would recommend them to my friends and family. These are things that have been used kind of all over the house, like office, kids rooms, bathrooms, closets. So we have quite a variety. I'm not gonna include too many kitchen organizers because I'm gonna do a whole separate video on great Amazon kitchen organizers. So just stay tuned for that. All these items will be listed in a blog, which I will leave a link for in my description. And if you guys have any great recommendations, a home organizer that you love off of Amazon, make sure to leave it below in the comments so that other mamas can check it out. Okay, number one is bath toy storage. Jason Aria's bath toys have accumulated and I wasn't putting them in anything at one point. So they'd literally just be on the bottom of the tub, which isn't good because then they're not drying out. They're just sitting in water with like droplets on them and they can start to get moldy and stinky. So obviously it's better to store them somewhere. Most of the organizers I was finding for tubs on Amazon were nets. I was looking for something different that wasn't a net and I wanted like three or four different compartments. I wanted it to be vertical storage and I wanted it to suction up kind of away from the tub. So there's not too many options on Amazon, but I did find one that I like that I thought was cute colors and was pretty easy to assemble. I did not, it's supposed to be a robot head, but I did not put in like the little robot ears and the buttons. I just left that part off. But if you want to put them in, you obviously can. It's affordable. It does what I need. It has the little holes so that the water can drain out of it. I like that it has three separate compartments so you can separate out and kind of keep it organized. I also like that it's just not too big because it, then it helps keep our toys to a minimum. So I'm not buying extra toys feeling like I need to fill them up more. I think it's just the perfect amount of bath toys we need right now. <laughs> bath toys are kind of annoying in general. So... We, if you're interested in what toys we have, we just have the squigs, suction, whatever you call it, um, that the kids are really enjoying in the tub. And then we have these little turtles that can swim. And then we have these light up dinosaur toys. So I'll link all of those too in my blog, just cause I went through a few different bath toys before I finally was like, oh, these are good ones that I want in our tub. The second great Amazon find is boxes to store the kids like crafts, like just their little memories and stuff. Um, you know, things they make you at school and they bring home. Or even like I'm saving Jace's first outfit he wore in her, his first photo shoot. Comes in a set of two. It is collapsible, so that's nice for storage purposes. It's about $30, so it breaks down to $15 per box, which is actually a good deal compared to a lot of the other file boxes I was seeing. It comes in black, beige, or gray. I don't know if they still have the beige right now, but I really like the beige ones that I got. And you do have to buy the files separately. So I haven't collected too much for the kids yet, but I can see myself eventually like each file being a different year, like a different school year or whatever. And then the box is pretty roomy that like behind all the files, you can store additional stuff. Like if you want to save a little blanket or a little stuffed animal or whatever, you know, I can see that being the perfect size for 18 years of memories that I want to store for the kids. I also just think it looks nice. Um, like if you want to leave it outside in an office space, or right now I have it on top of a cabinet in Aria's room and it's just not an eyesore. So I appreciate that about it as well. Number three is a very basic item and something I didn't have for a very long time. And it's a broom holder. 
all of our brooms and mops and like the duster, whatever, everything was just thrown in our closet. Which I probably need to go through that whole closet for another Let's Get In The Mold video anyway. But at least the one thing I have in order in there are the brooms because I finally got this broom holder. Great reviews. It's $14.97 on Amazon. You can't go wrong with it. Okay, number four is the expandable dresser organizers. I've shown you guys this as I organize dressers and like to create compartments. I feel like this is one of the more underrated ways to organize dressers. Only now recently I'm seeing people talk about them more, but I've been using these for a long time because you save way more money actually buying these than the small like square individual compartments that people are using, especially for kids' clothes. This is a great set because you get eight of them for $33. They are expandable, so you can expand them in either direction and choose how you want to lay things out within a drawer. You can use it for clothes. I use it in my clothes dresser. I use it in my bathroom to organize some tools in my drawers. They last forever and just space-wise and cost-wise, it's the best option, I think, for organizing and separating items within dressers. Number five is my magnetic fridge calendar. I felt like I wanted a calendar to just be physically in front of me and Richie so that us as a family can kind of know like what is going on this week and this month, but I didn't care for a paper calendar because I'm gonna have to buy a new one every single year. I just wanted something that was reusable that I can erase and it's a blank slate and I can put the new month and fill everything in. So of course the best option for that is a dry erase magnetic calendar. So I've been loving it. I don't put every single thing on there because I use my Google calendar for scheduling like work and detailed stuff, but things that Richie and I both should be aware of like who's serving at church which Sunday so that we know who needs to handle the kids that day or like a friend's dinner we're going to or a birthday holidays, stuff like that, basic things we are putting on this calendar. It also comes with a little grocery list magnet as well, and that's been nice for me because there are so many times I'm going through the kitchen, I realize something is running low or out, and I'm like, oh, I'll remember it in my head, and then I don't, I never do, and then I never put it on the grocery order. So now I just grab the marker, since it's right there in the fridge, quickly write it down, I also write like the kids schedule on there sometimes for when we have a sitter. It's just been super convenient. And another way to just organize our lives as busy moms when we have a million different things going on. Number six is an accessory organizer, I guess you can call it. It's a really good one to put in the bathroom. I felt like when I went through our whole bathroom and did my minimalism video, I needed something that was like his and hers on my side of the sink and Richie's side of the sink where the items that are frequently getting used can just all go into one organizer. <laughs> so there's a ton of different ones on Amazon, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money and I didn't want the see-through like acrylic or plastic ones because once you see everything that's in there, all the different bottles and colors, it just starts to kind of be an eyesore and look messy. So I loved these ones because they're opaque white. You cannot see through them, it just gives it like a little bit more of a clean look. It's the perfect size to fit into our little corners. It's just not too big, has a nice little pullout drawer. $14.99, totally affordable, and has truly helped both Richie and myself um, keep our counter items a lot cleaner. Number seven is a makeup organizer and I was searching for the perfect one. This has been a total game changer for my makeup and skincare items, especially if you are limited on bathroom space, counter space, and you're just struggling with a system that helps you keep your makeup and skincare organized. This did it for me. I've had this now, I don't know, like six months at least. It is the perfect system. It's rotating, so you can easily find what you need. It's pretty easy to build out because you do get the separate pieces and you have to like stick them where you want, which is nice because you can choose the height that you want the different shelves at. It is a little more on the pricey side, but I think it's completely worth it. And I was really comparing with a lot of the other similar products on Amazon and this one was, um, height wise i believe one of the taller ones so if i'm gonna pay a little more money for it i wanted it to be bigger 
Um, usually I just like squat down, get my squats in while I'm doing my makeup and we'll rotate it, find what I need and like use it or I'll just take the entire thing out and put it up on my counter while I'm doing my stuff and then I'll like put it all back after but this has helped literally so much I can't even tell you. Number eight is a 28 piece drawer organizer. The Kutex store on Amazon has pretty good products like some of the best prices I've seen for the amount of items you're getting within a set. They have really good ratings and it was $30 for 28 pieces. So that was pretty good. I loved that all the pieces were a variety of sizes. So you can kind of mix and match um, as you're fitting them into a drawer, trying to decide how you want to separate things out. So I use this in my junk drawer, which has been the perfect place because I have so many different sizes in there. I have some in Jace's room, so I kind of just use them everywhere. I mean, it's 28 pieces, so it goes pretty far. Number nine is a door laundry hamper. So obviously regular hampers that are on the floor, they're creating a footprint, it's taking up space. So this is a really good one for small homes where you just wanna use up less space on the floor. It's got the hangers, you can put it on the back of a door. It's got a nice easy hole you can throw things in very quickly and a zipper on the bottom so you can actually open up on the bottom to release your laundry into another basket or you can obviously unhang it and like go up to a washing machine and unzip the bottom so it's been really convenient and i also like that it has really neutral tones so it's not like an eyesore or sticking out very much you don't even really notice it especially since it's typically hanging behind a door number 10 is multi-size multi-size yeah plastic zipper pouches this is an 18 pack variety set off Amazon. I just shared this in my last Let's Get Minimal video where I went through the kids' rooms and organized all their toys and everything. These pouches are awesome. They come in a variety of sizes, really, really good for kids' puzzles, any toys kids have with a lot of small pieces, board games, adult board games, anything that just has multiple pieces that you wanna organize. This thing is awesome. I like that it's see-through so you can see exactly what's inside so you don't have to like open it to find out. There's just so many things you can use it for and it is a really good price. I'm throwing in an 11th one just because I really like this and it's off Amazon, but it's my new label maker that I've been using. Um, you've probably seen it on some of like my junk drawer labels or some of my kitchen, pantry, um, food items that have been labeled. I, I love the embossed label and like the look of the font. I think it's so cute. So it's off Amazon, totally affordable. You have to buy the labels separately and it's satisfying to use and satisfying to look at. So that's it, you guys. That's my list of 10 things. Very simple, just everyday things. Like it's nothing that's gonna blow your mind, but just helpful things that help make my life easier every single day, which is what I need as a mom. If you enjoyed this, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you like it and want to see more content, and I will see you guys in my next video.